Why work in commercial property? Property is one of the, the most diverse, fast-moving professions that there is in the world, and it's a true worldwide profession. The Royal Institution of Charter Surveyors is the principal professional body representing property professionals worldwide, and there's over 110,000 members across the world. Um, it's fun, it's fast-moving, and you're dealing with tangible assets. You're not dealing with paperwork too much. It's You're getting out and about. So for someone who you know, perhaps doesn't want to be stuck behind a desk 24 hours a day. It's, it's, a, it's a great profession. Um, and your surveyors are dealing with the environment in which we live, work and play. It's, you know, it's, it's an exciting place to be. What do surveyors do? Surveyors uh, undertake and get involved with such a diverse um, set of specialisms and subjects, right from planning, constructing, building, um, uh, designing, and then managing, buying and selling property assets and landed assets right across the world. So it's I extremely diverse. So you can be involved in buying, selling, investing in, right across the board. What skills and qualifications do I need? Academic qualifications that one needs to work in commercial property now has really, have really risen over the last few years. The, the top courses at Reading, Oxford Brooks are looking at AAB, AAB. So standards have gone up considerably from my day when one, one could enter the profession with perhaps t two E's, two E's and a B. It's very, very different days. So uh, academic standards have really risen significantly over the past few years. The RICS has pushed up standards and uh, it, it's, it, it's really vying vying for undergraduates with the law, accountancy and other professions. Is property a well-paid profession? Property is developing into a well-paid profession. Um, remuneration goes up significantly upon qualification and generally qualification into the RICS. You become a member of the RICS. Happens at about two, two and a half years after you leave your either postgraduate or undergraduate degree. And the average 20 three to 26 year old can be, uh, earn an average salary of around 32,000 pounds. It obviously changes each year and it goes up and down. And amongst and across the specialisms, it, it does tend to be very different. Graduate salaries tend to be pretty much pegged. But as you move through the specialisms and you specialize much, much more, the remunerations change very, very significantly. And then really, earnings are, are pretty uncapped. I mean, there are certainly people working in the property industry with multi-million pound salaries. There are people working in the property industry with salaries around the 20, 25,000 pound mark. It really depends where you specialise, um, what country you work in, and the value of the assets that you're managing and the value that essentially of the product that you end up with. What are the job prospects? Prospects at the moment really have been hit by the, the, the situation upon which commercial property has been faced with over the last two years. Commercial property really has been at the eye of the storm, um, incredibly hit by the credit crunch and lending. Capital values in the UK have, fiddled, have, have fallen somewhere near 40% and really um, opportunities have been very limited over the last two years. We are seeing early signs now of opportunities starting to rise again, banks starting to release assets, developments. The development cycle is perhaps starting to churn again. So th there, are, there are great opportunities, but if you look at perhaps one course that graduated this year, Oxford Brooks undergraduate and postgraduate course, maybe 120, 130 people came off that course, and I suspect off the undergraduate course, perhaps less than 10 people have managed to secure graduate positions at this time. So, you know, 80 or 90% of those undergraduates are still looking for position. So most of the employers have really crunched down on their graduate intake. What is the RICS? The RICS um, is the Royal Institution of Charter Surveyors. It's the preeminent professional body representing the built environment. And it represents property professionals across such a wide spectrum of specialisms from those that specialise in art and antiques through to those specialising in managing and valuing rural property through to quantity surveyors, building surveyors, asset managers, facilities managers, developers. They're moving through to those, the professionals that are involved in 
finance, fund management, and investment. So it's, it's a, a very broad church, but everyone is involved, is, is, is involved in managing the built environment. How do I qualify for RICS? If you qualify from an exempting real estate degree, such as Oxford Brooks, Reading, or a number of other courses, you, you then part exempted from the, the, a, no, a number of stages of the qualification. The next stage is to gain a graduate position with an employer that then allows you to, to qualify. And it's about a two-year process. And you take, at the end of the two-year process, you take an assessment of professional competence. Um, and you either pass or fail. If you pass or fail, you either, you either move on to your chartered status and become a member of the Royal Institution of Chartered Affairs, or MRICS, or you have to go back and start again and retake again six months later. It's, it's getting much harder to qualify.